Welcome to our Black Ember Citadel's review. It's one review, two bags, same name, different sizes, couple of different features. We're gonna break it all down. And at the end of this video, if these are not the bags for you, I'll make some alternative recommendations for bags that I think might better suit your needs. First up, let's discuss their similarities. Black Ember markets the Citadel as a weatherproof, minimalist bag that's ideal for traveling and commuting. Both bags feature stunning materials, theft deterrent zippers, an extremely borderline aggressively minimalist main compartment, a very spacious front compartment, and a well-ventilated back panel and shoulder straps. And before we jump into the next section, it should be noted that there's actually two more similarities I wanted to highlight. Number one, these bags come in the same colors currently, which is black, blue, and orange. And Black Ember just released their blue and their orange colors. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like black Ember should have black bags, but some people didn't think they look sick. And final similarity is that all Black Ember products are protected by their lifetime warranty. But let's talk about some of their key differences. First of all, size. Like I said, we have an 18 liter and a 25 liter. Honestly, both these bags can be good for both EDC and travel. It just depends how you EDC or how you travel. If you don't carry a lot of gear and you want a smaller, everyday carry bag, the 18 liter could be great for you. But if you carry a ton of gear and tech gear and you're commuting a lot and you wanna be really prepared on those rides to and from work and the gym, then maybe the 25 liter might be a better EDC. Same thing with travel, it just sort of depends on how you do you. So that's difference number one is the size. And here you can see both bags being worn on me. This is the 18 liter and this is the 25 liter. And for reference, I'm five foot eight. All right, difference number two. The 25 liter has a few modular attachment points that the 18 liter doesn't have. Notice here at the bottom, these are for Black Ember's external carry straps that you would put to the bottom to strap on like a yoga mat or a helmet or you know whatever you wanna carry on the bottom of your bag, you go ahead and tighten that into place. And on the side, you have the option to purchase a side handle. Yes, quite strange, Black Ember sells handles. And you just go ahead and pop it into place here and here. Oh, and also you can attach the handle on the other side as well. It should be noted that the 18 liter has neither of these modular attachment points. Difference number three, the 25 liter has its own independent laptop compartment, whereas the 18 liter's laptop compartment is in the main compartment. Difference number four, on the front flap of the main compartment, the 25 liter has an additional stash pocket right here that the 18 liter doesn't have. Difference number five, the 18 liter can fit up to a 14 inch laptop, but the 25 liter can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. Difference number six, the 18 liter weighs 2.75 pounds and the 25 liter weighs 3.5 pounds. And the last difference point, the smaller one runs around 240 USD and the larger one currently runs around 280 USD. And if at any point in these reviews, you're like, oh my God, those are the minimalist weatherproof travel slash commuting backpacks of my dream. I'm buying one, maybe both, but definitely one. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. That link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps support the Nomads Nation team so we can keep making the best damn bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Black Ember Citadels. If you are searching for a dark, mysterious backpack that does not treat you like a walking billboard. You're gonna love the Black Ember bags because logos are kind of non-existent on these guys, or at least very subtle. You can see them on the zipper pullers, right? Black Ember. That's kind of it, man. But as freaking stoked about that as I am, let's talk about something that I'm more stoked about. And I'm gonna try not to nerd out too hard on this, but let's talk fabrics for like 17 seconds. This fabric is 420D Velocity Cordura ReCore RN66. The Re part of it stands for the fact that it's recycled. The core is for Cordura. But all that aside, just plain speak, man, this fabric is delicious. It, it just like makes you feel like a sophisticated person. And let me tell you, I, I rarely feel like a sophisticated person. It's like a ballistic nylon, but it's own interesting weave, incredibly weather resistant, a little bit of shine, a little bit of gloss. Okay, I'm done. No more fabric talk, but I'm just a big fan of this updated ReCore fabric, especially compared to Black Ember's previous products, which used a fabric that was a dust and hair magnet. Thank God we moved on from that. Now, both bags have this front zipper right here, and they're very similar as to where they both have a really impressive amount of depth. Like you can see like this thing expands, dude, which is great because that extra capacity gives you extra versatility in what you want to pack. Should be noted too, this pocket is just the bottom half. It's not the top half. The front compartment on the 18 liter is big and bulky enough for a jacket or a sweater. And on the 25 liter, dude, you could even fit a one ounce Yeti water bottle in this main compartment. Zip it on up with room to spare. 
And one thing I love about Black Ember's zipper game is all these pros. They're YKK, they're PU coded, they got these great Hypalon pull tabs. They're very functional. They also have these little pull tabs on either side that you can use as leverage points that makes it easier to open and close the compartment. And best of all, you can see on the pull tab, you got this little loop right there and you can go ahead and weave the zipper right through there, lock it into place and boom, we have a theft deterrent system. And they're really satisfying to like lock into place. It has like this sound. I'm gonna bring my microphone closer to it. I hope you can hear it. Wait for it, wait for it. It's just, there's something about it. I just like it. It's the feel too. You're not getting the feel, but trust me, the feel plus the sound, just like, <clears throat> that was nice. Next up on the front, let's talk about the top pocket. Yet again, YKK PU coated zipper with the leverage tabs that are also lockable. You get in there, and we've got two components. One, sort of a divider, and also Black Ember's custom key ring. I love this key ring because it just rocks because it's fun, it's easy to take off, it's easy to snap back on. And it's in like a semi quick accessible location. It's not like you can just swing the bag over and grab them real fast, but like at least they're not like locked in the depths of the main compartment of the back. Could be worse. And because of the divider in this section, I feel comfortable attaching my keys and throwing them behind the divider and then using this front section for more sensitive and fragile bits of gear like my fake Ray-Bans and my phone. Zip it on up. Nice. Okay, let us now discuss the middle of the Black Amber Citadel backpacks. Both sizes come with the top handle. And Black Amber, man, their, their games are just, they, they, they're just built different. They do different things. Like most top handles on backpacks operate, function, feel the exact same way, which is fine. Cause it's like, if it's, don't, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But Black Amber's like, it's not broken, but we're gonna do our own thing with it. And you could hear that, and again, bringing the mic extra close. That little, that little Hypalon pull tab, it's just very satisfying. And the good thing about these top handles is that on the larger version of the pack, you can buy extras and put them on either side of the bag. But I can acknowledge that from a consumer's perspective, having to pay for handles, it's not gonna be everyone's favorite thing. We feel like it's a right that certain things should be included in our bags, side handles on a travel bag being one of them. But hey, maybe Black Ember's not for you then. But also like, I understand it. it's hard to make a bag profitable and like have these cool little add-ons and make people happy at the same time. And the reason I know this is that, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually building my own backpack. That's right, I review bags and I'm building a bag and I'm actually building the bag here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel in public every step of the way. So if you're interested in learning what it takes to build a world-class backpack from the ground up and you wanna see a behind the scenes look at what I'm doing, if I succeed, if I fail, the features we're adding, all these different things, then you're gonna to wanna to check out the second link in the description below. That link will bring you to the Building a Backpack homepage. It'll show you where we're currently at with the project and show you how to get involved and vote on some of the key features. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to these guys. All right, let's get into the main compartments. Should be noted with the zippers too. Like, look at look at these things. With every pro comes a con. And these zippers are like, they're kind of crazy sometimes. I mean, when you're wearing the bag, like they're gonna be in control, but I, I don't know, they just kind of they kind of freak me out sometimes. Look at these things. But one cool thing is with the main compartment is when you want to lock it, you can go ahead and put and weave the zippers into each other for another anti-theft sort of mechanism. And then getting into the main compartment on both. Let's do it. You can see, et voila. We got a lot of backpack going on, so I have to do one at a time. All right, the 18 liter first. Super minimalist, super bare bones. Side number one, we got this divider, which is secured via magnet, a top zip pocket. This sort of like access to Narnia pocket there. And then on the flip side, we have the tech compartment, which is secured with these two beefy magnets. Time for the 25 liter. On this side, basically the same exact thing, magnet, Pocket there, zippered pocket directly above. But remember, you do have that stash pocket right here. And this one comes down to about yay distance. And also its own little Narnia pocket. I don't know why I call it a Narnia pocket, but I also don't know what to do with that pocket. It's as mysterious to me as Narnia would be. I guess that's why I called it that. The brain works in mysterious ways sometimes. And then on the flip side, got a little stash pocket right here. And the tech compartment is actually its own section outside of here, which we'll talk about in just a minute. All right, let's pack out the 25 liter. For me, with the way that I, with the way that I do, um, the 25 liter would be a travel backpack for me. Probably like a weekend travel pack. I would never need for this for EDC. That's way too much room, way too much stuff. So let's do a little travel get up. Got a packing cube with a week's worth of clothes. It's going on the bottom. Got my dop kit slash tech kit. This is one's from Air. I've been combining my dop kit with my tech kit on my last few travels. It's been kind of nice. One less thing I have to bring. 
throw a sweater on in there. These are the air packing cubes, by the way. A book for some light reading, an umbrella for when I get to my destination. Yeah, it's kind of like where the big bulky stuff goes. Now let's kind of put the smaller tidbits on the opposite end. We'll do a journal and a Kindle in this pocket right there. In this pocket, I'm actually gonna put a sling so I can use it once I get to my destination. It's the Air Pro Sling. Nice fit. I don't know if this is gonna close, but I must put more stuff in it to find out. Tripod in this pocket. And then in the mysterious Narnia pocket, this would be the ideal location for like a thin jacket that I don't currently have with me. So we're gonna leave that part empty. And yeah, it's about a week's worth of travel stuff. Let's see if we can close it on up. And kaboom. Surprisingly, we got a full close, baby. That is a fully closed, pretty impressive capacity for a 25 liter backpack. I'm impressed. Now let's do the same thing and pack out the 18 liter. Cause for me, like I said, the 18 liter is like a perfect size for EDC. And if I'm EDC in, I'm usually working. So let's get like a little work set up. I'm gonna throw a Bluetooth keyboard on this side. Ooh, perfect fit with my Logitech. That's what I'm talking about. Magic mouse in the zipper pocket. Let's see if this Narnia pocket will handle my sweater. It's not like a thin sweater, but it's not like a super thick one by any means. Okay, it actually compresses pretty well. Ah, wow, I actually kind of sort of like that. We're gonna do my laptop on the other end. Let's talk about this tech compartment too, because holy bejesus, it's different. Decent padding. Now it fits up to a 14 inch, so my 13 inch MacBook Pro slides in no problemo. And look at this, this magnetic sort of system that we have. And once you get the laptop really in there, it goes ahead and just kind of clips into place. Very satisfying. Nice amount of padding, bit of a false-ish bottom when it all kind of comes together when the bat, when the laptop is actually there. I feel safe with it there. Now, one thing to know is that I usually prefer my laptop to have its own dedicated section because it's a lot easier to grab, especially when the bag is packed out, right? So for me, someone who works a lot, I just want to grab my laptop real fast and I do one of those. Um, this can be kind of annoying, but I do commend Black Ember for their innovation. And also I didn't even realize you got this like handle right here, which you can use to pull that back, therefore making it easier to access your computer. Boom. Let's fill it out with a few more things or at least try to. I'm gonna use my Air Tech Kit at the bottom, throw a notebook and a Kindle there as well. Umbrella, tripod, tote. And we'll actually see if I can squeeze the 17 ounce water bottle in there. It's not ideal. But for you hydration enthusiasts, I know you want to know. Because we didn't talk about it, there is no external water bottle holder on either backpack. But if that's a big deal to you, you probably wouldn't be here still watching this review. You can see yet again, actually pretty impressive capacity overall. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's a good looking bag. And finally, let's talk about the back of the Black Ember Citadel Packs. First up, we gotta mention that on the 25 liter, like I said, the laptop compartment is separated. It's not in the main compartment like it is on the 18 liter. This laptop compartment, little half moon opening, and you can see in there, it's just a big old slot. No additional organization, which I gotta, I gotta admit, I like. I don't need a bunch of like slots in my laptop compartment. Just give me a big old spot to throw all my stuff. Big enough for a 15 inch laptop, so my 13 inch fits snugly with room to spare. Oh, that's got a nice false bottom to it. I would say if you're not quite sure which one of these two to get, and you're looking for ultimate laptop protection, that this laptop, compartment is just gonna be better. It's more easily accessible. That false bottom rocks, it's got a bit more protection. Nothing against the other one, I commend the innovation, but this one's probably just a little bit better all around. But I'm curious, like, what do you think? Do you prefer your laptop to have its own section? Do you prefer the laptop to be in the main compartment? I wanna hear your thoughts, let me know in the comments below. And on the back side, we basically have the exact same setup, just different sizes. We can get through this pretty fast. Same exact setup, obviously different sizes. On the shoulder straps, we've got a really impressive amount of ventilation and decent padding, although a firmness to this as well. But that denseness of that padding will sort of mold to your body over time, and it's certainly robust, there's no doubt about that. We got a sternum strap below that, magnets and sternum straps, love the combo. And the sternum straps are completely adjustable, you just go ahead and unhook and then reposition based on wherever you want it to be. And then we've got a great dangle stopper solution for the excess nylon webbing. Cause let me tell you, ain't nobody got time for that. And then you can see here, the back panel itself, really nice padding, ventilated, elasticy materials. And then in the middle is the luggage pass-through holder. But one thing to keep in mind is this luggage pass-through holder is not one where you can stand the bag upright. You gotta throw it on its side. And this is not much of a side <laughs> axis backpack, it works. 
So that's not my favorite, but on the flip side, I missed this. One thing I like is on the shoulder straps, you can see at the top, they remove the padding and it's just the actual fabric itself. This helps to give the shoulder straps a lot more movement to better fit the shape of your body. All right, Citadels, let's wrap this up by talking about the overall pros and the cons of both of you. Pro number one of both bags is amazing materials. Pro number two, love me those lockable zippers. And pro number three is that both packs just, just look just look fresh and clean. Super fresh, super clean. But the freshness and the cleanness does not distract me from the cons. I got a few of those as well. Con number one for some of y'all is gonna be a lack of an external water bottle holder on either side of either bag. Con number two is having to pay for modular side handles. Might rub some people the wrong way. And con number three, for the sizes, both bags could be considered slightly on the heavy side. But check it out, if you're still here, there's a good chance that you've weighed these pros and cons. And you've probably already made a decision that you might wanna make a purchase. And if that's the case, just a gentle reminder that if you are gonna make that purchase, we do ask that you do so with the first link in the description below, as it helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we appreciate, thank you. But let's say that you're not quite sold and you want some of those alternative suggestions that I promised you from earlier in the video. Don't you worry, I got your back. Alternative recommendation number one is the Alpaca Elements Backpack Pro. This is for you if you like that kind of dark, urban, anonymous, black backpack. But you want more pockets. And uh, we did a full review on this bag. It's very cool, a lot of fun features, including two water bottle holders, very important. To learn more about the Alpaca Elements Backpack Pro, Take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative backpack recommendation number two is gonna be the Black Ember Forge. This is for you if you're like, damn, I like those two bags, the Citadels, 18 and 25, because Black Ember's cool, they speak to me. But I don't know which one to get. I want the EDC one and the travel one. Life is filled with so many hard decisions. Not anymore. Because the Black Ember Forge is a 20 liter bag made by Black Ember that can expand to 30 liters, therefore getting the best of both worlds, kind of. It's not that easy, but it might be worth exploring. And to initiate that exploration, go ahead and check out the links in the description below to find our full review. And last but not least, alternative backpack recommendation. Number three is gonna be the Air City Pack Pro. This will be for you if you like the look. You know, they're kind of similar. They both have that zipper cutting through, black materials, nice ventilation and comfort. But the Air City Pack Pro just kind of does it a bit differently. A few more sections, a few more pockets, a few more features, and a lot bigger of a cold follow. -up. To learn more about the Air City Pack Pro, just go ahead and watch this video right here. If you got any questions about the Black Ember Citadel or any of the backpacks, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.